Want to know the things that I use to get through daily life? Curious about the things that I just cannot live without? The things that I don't know how I survived without them thus far? Listen, you'll definitely want to add these items to your list and buy them ASAP. Stay tuned for the goods, cousin. What's up, beautiful people? Welcome or welcome back to Just For TV. I am your favorite cousin, Jess, back on your screen with a complete rundown of my all-time favorite purchases to date from the GOAT, Amazon. Y'all know it. These are the things and the items that are just for everything. Random-ish, ish for Gia, shit for the bathroom, ish for the kitchen, shit for travel. Stuff that I use just because it's portable. These are just items and things that you had no idea you ever needed until this very moment. So you're welcome, cousin. All of these things I have either purchased a while ago, but still use them faithfully or things that I've recently purchased and now realize I don't know how I was able to get through life up until this point without them. But I digress because they're here now and I'll be linking everything that I mentioned down below in the description box for anyone who wants to shop these items. And I'll also leave a direct link to my Amazon storefront so that you can bring all of this goodness into your world as well, cousin. Okay, let's get into these must-haves and favorites. And also there's really no rhyme or reason behind the order of these items mentioned. I'm just mentioning them. Okay, so jumping right into it, the first item is this electric lighter. I use this to light anything that needs to be lit, specifically my candles because I have a bunch of them that I use on a daily basis after cleaning, just because, just set the mood, just because it's a candle and you're supposed to light it. And this electric lighter just makes it so super easy to just light my candles. And I've had this for about a year now and I have not had to charge it once. And for me, it's just super safe and I can just kind of leave it laying around and not have to worry about it. So for me, it's a five out of five. And if it ever breaks, you best believe I'm gonna buy it again. Up next is this portable pink handheld fan and I love this thing y'all. It comes in handy on any and every occasion. On travel, if you just like to have a fan at your bedside, if you're just out and about in the summertime and you just need some air, this fan comes in handy. It's super portable, it's super lightweight and it's a good breeze from it. It has three settings. It's easy to charge and the battery life on it isn't as good as it could be or should be. However, you get what you pay for. But for me, it does its job. It serves its purpose. Same with the lighter. If this ever breaks, I would buy this specific one again just because I really like it and it really works. And of course, because I really love this thing. Again, it's a five out of a five for me. Up next is this gold beauty blender holder and this just serves the purpose of holding my beauty blender and it just looks really cute. It looks really good sitting on my desk with all the rest of my gold things. It's just real aesthetically pleasing and once again, it just holds your beauty blender. So for this, because of the usefulness, because of the purpose, I would give this a four out of five, but it's definitely cute. Up next, we have this black velvet jewelry stand, and this just holds a lot of my bracelets, a lot of my bigger hoop earrings, my watch, and anything else that I just wanna throw on there that I don't wanna get scratched up or lost. I just kind of pop it right on there, and it's just really cute. It's really aesthetically pleasing, and it just serves the purpose of holding some of my jewelry, so I give this a five out of five. Up next, we have this acrylic lipstick holder, and this is just really cute to just pop any of your lip glosses, your chapstick, your lipsticks, anything in it. And it just looks really cute and makes your desk or your vanity or whatever you have it on just look really neat and put together. And for this, because it just really has a useful purpose for me, I'm gonna give this a five out of five. Up next, I have this travel jewelry case. And y'all, this has came in handy so many times just because, you know, you travel, like most of the time you out, you turning up. And by the time you come back to your hotel room, your cabin, whether you're on a ship or whether you're just in another state or what have you, you kind of just throw your jewelry or you put it on the bathroom counter or you put it on the dresser and anything could happen. <laughs> Anything could happen. Like it get swiped off, whatever. It could just get lost. So having this travel jewelry case that just zippens up to just pop all of my jewelry in when I'm not at home just really comes in handy. So for this, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. 
Up next, I have these clear desk storage drawers and these just came in handy for everything that I just didn't have a place for. Whenever I just need something random, I know exactly where it is. So I can just open up one or two of these drawers, pull it out, kind of search for it. Right now, I do have a lot of hair ties and just some loose eyelashes. I have some of my extra crochet needles, like anything random, I kind of just pop into those drawers. They're just really cute, really aesthetically pleasing. And you can see everything that you have in them. So for the purpose of these drawers, I'm going to give it a five out of five. And I'm moving on. This is one of my favorites. I literally just purchased this. If you guys haven't seen my office makeover room tour, you should definitely go check that out to just get a better view of this five tiered cube white shelf. This is so clutch. You can either stand it up vertically or have it laying like I do horizontally and just put on display whatever you want. You can put your favorite heels in it. You can put your favorite purses. I just have a couple of random knickknacks that I just want to showcase in my backdrop as I film. So for this, because I love it so much, I'm going to give it a five out of five. Up next is this gel nail polish, gel nail base, and top coat. And I bought these because I'm the type that I always want to get my nails done, but then I'm a real hooligan and I just be doing random shit. Like I be washing my truck or I be washing dishes or I'll just open up a drawer completely forgetting that I actually have nails on. And nails are entirely too expensive nowadays to be moving how I be moving when I be having nails on. So I was like, you know what? Let me go on Amazon and see if I can find something to do my own nails at home. And I came across these and y'all talked here. Basically what I do is I just use the nail base to glue it on, put that gel polish on top. It's like really dope to just be able to sit in the confines of your own home, do your nails, and you don't have to worry too much if you break them or anything because you have everything right at your fingertips to go ahead and fix your fingertip that broke. So for these, I'm going to give them a five out of five. Up next is this portable LED light for your nails to just cure them. And because it's so portable and because I'm doing my nails myself, I wanted to pick up something that was small and also didn't have a bottom on it. So I can kind of just set it on top of my nails. This portable LED light, it just really serves the purpose of if I am traveling and I do break a nail, I could just pop that in my suitcase. It's going to take up no room. So for this, I'm going to give it a five out of five. Moving on, we have these gold brim blue light glasses. And y'all, these are my favorite glasses. I feel like I wear these every time I go out. They're just so cute and stylish. And it really just adds a bit of a flair to whatever it is that you're wearing or your outfit. You can dress them up. You can dress them down. You can dress them. You can dress the hell out of these glasses and I really just love them. I don't use them for anything as far as looking at a computer screen, looking at my phone, looking at any type of screen. They are strictly for style for me and I love them. So I'm gonna give them a five out of five. Up next, we have these oversized black and gold blue light glasses and these are super cute as well. I don't feel like they accentuate my face as much as the other glasses, but I still use them for fashion. Again, I don't use these for anything. As far as screen purposes go, I've actually only worn these one time just because I feel like I haven't found the right hairstyle to really just help them bring out my face or whatnot because they're actually too oversized for me but I'm going to keep them I do really like them but because I haven't found how they fit within my fashion my taste just yet I'm going to give them a three out of five Moving on, we have these combo black and clear blue light glasses. And these I do wear for all things screen purposes. Cause I definitely noticed that I had been getting a lot of headaches. My head just felt like heavy when I don't wear these glasses. And because I'm looking at a computer screen at least 15 hours a day, I'm like on a computer, on a laptop, on a phone, on an iPad. Like I'm always looking at some screen, whether it's the TV, whatever. And these glasses definitely come in handy. They're really cute, really sleek. And even when you're working, they're still super cute and just can jazz up your look. So I'm gonna give these a five out of five. Up next to go along with all of these glasses that I just showed you guys, I purchased these black microfiber sleeves or pouches to just pop my glasses in when they're not in use so they don't get scratched or anything like that. And these definitely come in handy for other things as well, other like small knickknacks and trinkets, whatever you may have, they definitely come in handy for your jewelry as well. So I'm gonna give these a five out of five. Moving on, I have this black and gold monitorizer and this definitely came in handy as far as space goes. It's definitely a space saver. It has space where I can just store my phone. It came with this little tray to where you can just pop other knickknacks and whatever in. This riser has definitely helped my back out tremendously. Just by lifting my screen up more when I'm editing, I definitely notice that I'm less fatigued and my back isn't hurting as much. But also just overall, it's a super duper space saver and I love it for that. So I'm gonna give this a five out of five. 
Up next in line with my desk accessories, I have this black mat and it really just adds something to it because I also have a black rug. So it kind of just helps bring out all the blacks in that area. It's really nice to write on. It's nice to have as an additional mouse pad and also just a barrier in between your actual desk and your keyboard so that it's not like sliding or anything like that. So because of the purpose and its usefulness, I'm gonna just go ahead and give it a four out of five. Moving on, I have this dongle for my iMac. And because I have the 24 inch iMac, it only came with the four USB-C outlets. So I also needed SD reader and I also needed some USB outlets as well. And it worked fairly well. The only thing is it does also have a USB-C input on it, but for some reason it doesn't work. Like I thought it worked for like charging purposes or, you know, power to power on stuff, but it just doesn't work at all. So because of that one thing, I'm gonna just go ahead and give this a two out of five just because it's not serving its full purpose if that makes sense yeah. <laughs> up next alongside my other desk accessories I have this acrylic iridescent phone stand and I don't use this as a phone stand necessarily just because it's not sturdy enough to hold my phone my phone always kind of just topples it over so I kind of just use this as my chapstick stand just so I always know who my chapstick is and for me because chapstick is life it is useful as hell so I'm giving it a five out of five Moving on in the same line as my desk accessories, I have this pull out keyboard desk mount and y'all this has saved my life as far as another space saver just because I have kind of like a two setup work area on my desk. One is for my specific nine to five and then my other is just for my personal YouTube whatever stuff just life stuff. So <laughs> I like to kind of keep that separated. So I have some things in the middle, but also I have two separate keyboards for each monitor. So I have one keyboard on one side and the, and the other keyboard on this pullout mount. And it just saves so much desk space and I don't have to have two keyboards out at all times. So for this, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. Up next, I have this portable battery pack, and this comes in handy anytime I'm out of the house, anytime I'm traveling in an airport, on a ship, just kind of going out for the day on a Saturday and I have all my filming equipment. If I don't have anywhere to plug up or charge things, this comes in handy for my phone, for my iPad, for Jesus iPad, whenever I need it. I don't know how I got through life thus far without it because something always needs charge. So for this, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. Up next, I have this mega boom speaker and y'all this thing booms. Like you could just throw it in the water. It's waterproof. You can just have it floating in the shower, in the kitchen while you clean it. This thing comes in handy, especially for traveling. It's so portable, so small. You can just throw it in your suitcase and keep it pushing. And it's super duper loud. Like this mega boom always comes through. So for this, I'm giving it a five out of five. Up next, I have this blue snowball mic and I've had this for a brick, but this thing, as small as it is, as cheap as it is, for me, it comes in handy for voiceovers just because I don't need to do much editing to this condenser mic because normally when I am doing any type of voiceover, it's right up here. It doesn't pick up a lot of the noise around it and it just really comes in handy because it's super compact. If I need to film in other locations, in the Jeep, upstairs, like it's just really portable to just move about and take it with me. And yes, I love this mic, but because I've purchased some other mics, which I'll share in another video. I'm gonna go ahead and give this mic a four out of five because of course there is way better out on the market that you can get, but it's a perfect starter mic. So I'm gonna give it again a four out of five. Moving on, I have this drawing pad and I started off using this so much for like photo editing and things of that nature, but I don't really use it as often anymore just because now I have my iPad with my pencil. So if I'm editing or doing things in GIMP, then this definitely comes in handy. But for any other purposes, it's literally just been sitting on the shelf, not getting any use. So because of that, I'm gonna have to give this a two out of five. Up next is this candle warmer turned coffee warmer. And as ghetto as that is, I don't care because this works. This keeps my coffee so warm throughout the day. I don't have to worry about heating my coffee back up in the microwave and having it taste like plastic or something nasty. And I've had this thing for years. And initially I did use it as a candle warmer, but then I was like, oh man, this would be perfect to keep my coffee warm. So that is now the use for it. I use it every day. So for this, I'm giving it a five out of five. 
Up next are these continuous power adapters. I have one for my Canon 90D and it's currently plugged up to that continuous power adapter. And then I have another one which powers my Canon T6i as well as my M6 Mark II. And these come in handy on a daily, especially when I'm filming for long periods of time when I want a two camera setup. So I don't have to keep getting up and changing batteries or worrying about if the camera is gonna go dead. I can actually just take my time and film and make sure that it's gonna come out perfect for you guys. So these continuous power adapters are probably like the most useful things on this list being a content creator for me so of course I'm gonna go ahead and give them a five out of five moving on as far as camera accessories go are these Sony ZV-1 batteries plus the charger and of course they are off-brand but the battery life on these is way better than the battery life on the OEM battery that came with the Sony ZV-1 that one goes dead so fast it makes legit no sense how fast that battery goes dead. But with these batteries, I'm guaranteed to be able to vlog longer and not have to worry about continuously switching the batteries. And the fact that it also came with a charger, that's a plus. So for those, I'm gonna give them a five out of five. Up next are these laptop risers and they're just these little cheap, sticker adhesive things that kind of just go on the bottom of your laptop but they definitely come in handy because it definitely lifts your laptop up kind of gives you a varying angle to kind of work with your laptop or just if your laptop needs airflow i don't use them as often as i used to when i had my other laptop because with this laptop the fans legit never come on because she a beast but because of their usefulness and because i don't often have to use them on this current laptop i'm going to give them a three out of five up next is this clear laptop case and y'all this is just so cute it's so sleek it doesn't add anything extra to this already huge laptop and it just saves my laptop from any scratches or just kind of throwing it in my bag or anything like that so because of that usefulness i'm going to go ahead and give it a four out of five up next in line with my laptop is this SSD holder and this is just an adhesive sticker that kind of just sticks to your laptop and this is so useful because most of the time when I'm using my laptop I am using or editing or kind of pulling stuff from three and four SSDs at a time so I always have on me at least three external hard drives and the majority of the time they're all hooked up into the laptop so just being able to pop them right in the back of this is so super duper helpful so for that I'm going to give this a five out of five. Up next is this big laptop table and this has saved me so many times. I love this thing. Like it does kind of tip easy if you don't watch it. Like I definitely wouldn't put my wine glass or my juice or my soda on this and think that it ain't gonna move because it definitely will move. But as far as holding my laptop and my tablet and my mouse, it definitely comes in handy when editing in the bed at night. So for that, I'm gonna give this a four out of five. Up next is a combo, which is this Apple Pencil case and a nib. And I don't use the nib that often just because I don't like the feel of it when actually writing it. I feel like it kind of restricts me from writing. So I don't use that. But this Apple Pencil case is just really cute and sleek and I like it. So because I don't use the nib as much and because it is a combo, I'm going to go ahead and give it a four out of five. Up next is this pillow pad. Y'all, this is a life saver this is a lifesaver i love this pillow pad i love the little pocket on the side i love the little handle i love everything about it if you're just laying in the bed laying on the couch sitting on the couch wherever but it definitely comes in handy so you can just better watch and stream anything you know watch just for tv on youtube this pillow pad definitely comes in handy so i'm going to give it a five out of five up next is a top favorite of mine on this list and that is this white noise machine and clock it's a projector clock it has a little light on it it has white noise it has a little bit of everything that i need so that i can fall to sleep peacefully it's everything that i've ever wanted in a clock so for that i'm going to give it a five out of five up next is this travel usb diffuser and this just sticks into any usb and you can just buy your different diffusers and oils whatever you want to put into it i have a sleep oil in it i have eucalyptus i have some lavender and i just pop that in and as small as it is it does pack a punch and because of its usefulness i'm going to go ahead and give it a five out of five Moving on and on the same line as diffusers is this LED essential oil diffuser and this just sits on my desk. It's really cute. I like the gold bottom and it's also small but it also does pack a punch. It really diffuses any oil that you put in there. You can definitely smell it. It definitely is a vibe. So because of that, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. 
Up next is this multiple outlet surge protector and this is a lifesaver. Granted now, when traveling, a lot of hotels, a lot of cabins, wherever you are, they do offer a lot of different and a variety of outlets. But this definitely comes in handy when those aren't offered. So I just like having it in my travel bag. It's easy to just throw in, not add any extra weight. So for that, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. Up next is this humidifier and I've had this probably as long as I've had Gia. <laughs> and she uses it. It's perfect for small rooms and just putting humidity into the air when you're sick or just to also kind of just brighten up a room as far as the smell goes. So for this, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. Moving on is my face ice roller and I've showed this in probably two or three other videos. Definitely check out my skincare routine video if you want to see more of this but this thing comes in handy. I love it. I feel like it's definitely done a number for my skin so for that I'm going to give it a five out of five. Alongside my facial ice roller I also have this iced eye mask and I tend to use this not often. I don't use this as often as I use my face roller. And I don't really know the effects or the benefits of it because I haven't really used it enough. So for that, I'm gonna go ahead and give that a two out of five. Moving on, still on my face is my dry facial brush. Again, make sure you guys check out my skincare routine video if you wanna see more about that and the benefits and effects of it. And because I love this thing so much, I use it every single day. I'm gonna give it a five out of five. Up next are my facial tissues. And these are like my all time favorite as far as this list goes, top five. Because I started to use these after I noticed that just washcloths were just too rough on my face. Even just patting it with a washcloth, just, I don't know, this wasn't doing it. So I purchased these facial tissues and I love them. Like they come in handy, they can be wet or they can be dry. And yeah, I'm gonna give them a five out of five. And in line with those facial tissues, I also have this acrylic dispenser just to house them. And it's really cute, it's really aesthetically pleasing. And yeah, whenever I need one, just pull it out like a tissue box and I love it. So for that, I'm gonna give that a five out of five as well. Up next for the kitchen is this electric can opener. And I've definitely had this for a couple of years. I just thought I would add this to the list because it's so easy to use and you don't have to use those winders or you don't gotta worry about cranking up the can. Like you don't have to worry about that. You just pop it up on this electric can opener, open your corned beef hash, cook your dog food, and you lit. So for that, I'm gonna give it a five out of five. Up next, I have my frother cup, y'all. I thought I was doing something when I got the handheld frother, but when I got this frother cup, I was lit. Like this is the best thing since sliced bread. So I love this thing. I love that I can make it hot. I love that I can make it cold. I love that I can make it warm. Like it's just an all in one. Sometimes I even just heat up water in it because it's that powerful. So for this, I'm definitely giving it a five out of five. Up next are these pumps for my sweetener. And at first, when I first got my sweeteners, I was kind of just, you know, pouring it in there. But when I got these pumps, like it was literally life changer because now I know every time I want coffee, all I need is three pumps. That's all I need. Just really cute and it's aesthetically pleasing on your coffee bar. So for these, I'm gonna give them a five out of five. Moving on, on the same line as coffee are these reusable K-cups. And y'all, these have saved my life plus the earth and the ocean because I don't have to be worried about as much waste or just throwing away this plastic because for these, all I have to do is pop them in my dishwasher, wash them and then I can reuse them. And they definitely come in handy because I wanted to start buying coffee beans because I kind of want to grind my coffee. I've been watching too much van life, like y'all know the vibes. So for these, I'm going to give them a five out of five. In line with my K-Cups are my K-Cups storage drawer. And this I've had for, years as well it's definitely come in handy i keep all things k-cups in it and because of its usefulness because of its purpose because it really just also saves space i'm going to give it a five out of five up next is my electric wine opener and y'all this is a lifesaver if you don't have an electric wine opener what are you doing get up from underneath that rock that you're living under and get you an electric wine opener because it saves life it saves corks it saves wine bottles. It's so quick, it's so easy to open up your wine. So I love this thing. I've had like two or three of these before, but they all broke because you get what you pay for. So I decided to really invest in a really good wine opener. And this one has not failed me and I love it. So I'm giving it a five out of five. Moving on is my wine fridge and I've showed you guys this a time or two in my other videos, but I just really like this wine fridge. I do store my creamer, my cold brew coffee and my wine in it. And it really just keeps everything nice and cool and it's just really cute and it's really sleek and I love it. So of course, five out of five for that. 
And last but not least, on the list of my top five of all things on this list of 50 is my blender. Most people buy blenders for smoothies. I, on the other hand, bought my blender for daiquiris and it does just that and I love it. I could blend me up a good daiquiri, a good strawberry marg in minutes and yeah, I love this blender. I absolutely love this blender. And I'm giving this blender a five out of five because I love it. Okay, you guys, that was my 50 all-time favorite items and products from Amazon. Comment down below if you have any of these items that I mentioned or comment down below with any links or names to items of your favorite Amazon must-haves. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to click the link to my Amazon storefront. If you want to add any of these items to your life to make your life a little bit easier, I do hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you're a real one, then I'll be seeing you in my next one. Peace.